hello guys today i will explain about develop the school management application in a step by step development school management application so first of all enrollment setup for year pin end then after creating the site then after making the new apps now first of all enrollment setup now perform the following step uh, install the free site install the bench repo bench repo install the proper bench create a new site get apps yapinx install the yapinx apps set the developer mode and after that start the bench start uh, after that bench start command to start our server Then after make a school management application, uh, perform the below command. Bench new apps school management app. After that add the uh, details in a school management apps. Apps title, publisher, email, icon, license, color. Then after install the school management apps using below command. Bench site site name install. App school management apps. Now bench migrate clear case build and start. Now then after your display school management application. Then after creating four doc type in school management apps student management fee subject management. Now how we can create school management application containing doc type. Now first of all create a doc type. Now go to developer doc type new button select the school management module. Then after creating here doc type which user want to create a doc type in school management and then after save button then we have created school management doc type Containing following field, we are using roll number, name, gender, standard status, remark. Same as creating faculty doc type. Faculty management doc type. Here including faculty ID, student role number, subject, subject name. Here select the type according to you to use uh, in a label like uh, subject name, faculty type. You have to say, uh, select the data type and select. Now we added in our option add hoc and permanent type. Then after fee management and containing edit of type including this how to linking the one doc type to another the faculty management edit doc type here select the here face the record in a standard student management 
now first of all create a link field in student management then after yes student role underscore role number dot standard that field to access the standard like a student that field is student management field standard is access in a faculty management of type how we can linking so first of all create a new link field student management then after that field through access the standard then after set the naming doc type naming a doc type naming is define auto name field faculty dot as it says the faculty management your new say that we say here create auto name field automatically we can define here series then after set a mandatory field in particular field like here student management system set the mandatory field now define the set the mandatory field and required field you can say required field here set the list view then after here display the student management inside the list view and set the date of birth the mandatory gender is not a mandatory field that shown the data part really there mandatory will be list view Our app state structure creating a new user. Go to setup, setup user. Now click on new button, then create a new user. After that, create a role setup. Creating a role, we can click on new button, then here create a student role. After that. creating a setting a role with a particular user now open the user to user form then applying the role student role by check box click on save button applying the permission applying the role then after set the permission based on role Now go to set up a role permission manager option. Select the here role type student management. Then after and then after select the role 
to done role then after here set the permission read write whatever here applying the read permission then here student will not display the new button or any delete the record here applying the permission in write create email export print import save report set for user permission delete then after here refresh the page or reload the page effect will be shown here new button is created then after here also delete button is shown that's we here apply the permission first of all create user then after uh, creating a role based on role you have to add the permission and after applying the permission here show on the permission thank you